Hey guys, welcome to today's video or welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Um, in case you guys haven't noticed already uh, in, you know, in the title, I'm going to be reviewing the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. Now I was really, really intrigued and hesitant to try this out because I need to try out some, you know, drugstore foundations. I need some more affordable products on this channel right here, especially catered to my combo skin girls out there um, and if also if you have like an olivey undertone as well it's really really hard to find that anywhere in the drugstore if you find it like that's that's like gold right there it's literally gold um, unfortunately with this line there is no shades that cater to the olive undertones you can kind of make this work but that's like one of my few gripes about it it's not just this particular brand or this particular line it's just anything in the drugstore in general it's so hard to find anything that's in uh, a olive undertone but before we get started with the video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified when I do upload a new video. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you love L'Oreal, their products, or even this foundation, or interested in whatever the case may be. Give this video a thumbs up, it'll definitely help the channel grow. And don't forget to follow me on my social media handles. And now let's get started with the video. Okay, so I got this foundation at Shoppers Drug Mart and it was on sale. So at Shoppers, they sell for basically $20. Uh, Walmart was about 16 bucks or so. Uh, but it was on sale at Shoppers for $13 and change. So let's just say $15 as like an even number. And you do get 30 milliliters. And I do believe it's one fluid ounce. It's pretty much the standard size. Their shade range for a drugstore is really, really impressive. There are 30 shades. But I do wish they bring out some more olive tones because I do lean more towards a olive shade than just golden, yellow. Um, especially when I tan, I definitely don't get golden. I get very olive -y. So unfortunately, um, I had to work with what I got. Um, I originally picked the shade Radiant Honey, but that was way too dark for me because um, this foundation does oxidize uh, a little bit. Mm. Um, so I ended up getting the shade Vanilla because in the store light, it looked like it was just fine. Um, but after applying it on, it still was a little bit too light. I made it work. However, you can pretty much tell that there are two different shades to my face, my neck, and my chest. So yeah. I just realized I was sitting very awkwardly for a while, so I do apologize for that. Um, but anyways, back to the foundation. So also, when I did pump this out, I felt that this was a lot more liquidy than I expected. Usually with liquid foundations, they're a little bit more thicker, um, a little liquidy, but not too thick and not too runny, if that makes any sense. Because um, there's a few liquid foundations I have here that have a nice liquid consistency where it doesn't just run off your hand, uh, but not so thick where it feels like you're just slapping paste on your face basically and when I did apply this it was blending very very beautifully and there was such a nice finish to it I wish I got a different shade but that's besides the point um, so it blended very beautifully there was no skipping anywhere there was no patchiness or anything like that it blended very beautifully even the finish it was really really beautiful so this foundation is a medium coverage but it can be buildable and it's supposed to be sweat proof, waterproof, and transfer resistant. It also feels very, very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey at all. And once again, when I blended it out, it was so beautiful. I can't emphasize that enough. It did not feel heavy throughout the day, um, especially like during the summertime right now, basically summer, leaning to fall. Um, I did not feel sweaty or anything like that. It, it's just a beautiful like foundation and how it like wore throughout the day. So my first check-in was at 11 a.m. So about four to five hours after I applied it. And as you can see, it still looks quite beautiful. My pores still look good. My forehead still looked fine. Everything was still staying in place. Nothing was moving. There was a little bit of shine around my nose. Uh, but nothing was breaking apart or anything. So it, that was definitely good. So I did another check-in about 2.30, so about three and a half hours uh, after. And I wanted to do it in natural light. You can see a bit of my pores at this point. Um, there's a bit of shine going on, but 
Once again, it's nothing that's overwhelming or anything. Nothing was settling to my fine lines yet. So overall, it's still looking good at 2.30. Okay, you guys, it is now like the end of the day. What time is it right now? It is 7.34. I basically had this on for 12 hours, you know, my usual day, my usual time. So 12 hours. I did some check-ins throughout the day as you guys saw. There wasn't really much change from when I first checked in and then my second check-in. Um, but now since it's like almost a 12 hour day, let's have a closer look. It still looks pretty good. So this is supposed to be a natural foundation as we all know, but how it applies on the skin, it looks a lot more like a, not a true matte, so it's like a, a demi matte. Um, I still see some glowiness, it's not true, true matte, of course. There is a bit of um, uh, oil still around here, but for 12 hours, it's actually holding up quite well for 12 hours. My forehead still looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Um, my nose still looks really, really good. And just so you guys know, at work, I do have to wear a mask uh, when I do wander around the premises. Um, so I have been wearing a mask and, you know, with that on, it did transfer a little bit on there. Not too much. And of course, wearing the mask, there's going to be a lot more heat that's going to be surrounding the area. But it still looks pretty darn good. Um, it didn't really collect much around the smile line around here. Um, I see a tiny bit of breakage, but compared to other foundations I've worn, um, it's actually not that bad. Um, again, on the sides of the nose, it still looks good. The pores still look fine. Um, I actually have no complaints about this, you guys. Like for basically $15, under a little under $15, um, it's quite good. Like, I am quite impressed with this drugstore foundation. The only gripe I would have about this is that, you know, the shades. Um, it, it's not that they don't have enough shade range. It's just, of course, with like drugstore foundations, um, there aren't enough uh, shade ranges for olive tones. Um, like I said, they usually run very golden, pretty neutral. There are a few uh, pink tones. But there isn't really anything catered to all of the undertones. And of, and of course, with everyone else who do have all of the undertones, it's very hard to find a foundation in the drugstore that kind of caters to that. So I kind of have to work with this. Um, with this foundation, I wish I got maybe a shade or two darker. The shade Vanilla is still a little bit too light. I could make it work, but I would have to wait for my tan to kind of fade. Maybe January or December or something like that. I could probably wear this again um, But as of right now, I can't really fully wear this because it's really gonna mismatch between my chest and my neck and I don't know if you guys can, can tell but it, it You can see that there is a discoloration right here. Like it's two different colors. The finish is absolutely beautiful it definitely controlled the oil, you know, for, for what it is, like a natural finish, natural finish foundation. It definitely controlled the oil. It's very inexpensive. It was definitely sweat proof, water resistant. There was a little bit of transfer, not that much. But again, you know, for the drugstore $15, this is actually quite quite good for for what you're getting right so i would definitely definitely recommend this product and i'm pretty sure a lot of other people out there would recommend this product as well but if you're combination skin like myself definitely definitely get this product it really does target the certain areas of your face um it definitely targeted mine um it didn't look overly dry overly oily it definitely targeted the certain concerns on my face it didn't overdo one over over the other because I know that a lot of the foundations is either too hydrating and then next thing I look like an oil slick if it's too dry but then my cheeks get too dry you know but this absolutely complements combo skin quite quite well I'm really really impressed so once again I do recommend this product and if you are in the market for a inexpensive affordable foundation um, that lasts basically Let's say all day because I don't know anyone that really wears makeup for 24 hours, but let's say all day, um, this is the foundation for you. Um, the only downside, again, was the shade range for me and the fact that 
you know you can't really test so please do your research there's a lot of blogs out there and images and all that stuff that can help you pick the shade that is right for you so anyways basically this is approved I really enjoy this and I definitely recommend it to anyone that has combination skin so anyways you guys I hope you enjoyed today's video and hopefully this was informative for you guys but before you leave make sure you check out these other two videos right here if you haven't done so already and I will see you guys in the next one Bye!